Tonight I want to discuss night vision and photonic barriers that we create. Um, a lot of people say, well, you know, I'm going to save a buck, I'm going to get some photonist tubes, and I'm going to run illumination. Uh, every tube looks good under an illuminator. And they're not wrong. Uh, they do. These are L3 filmless white FOSS tubes. We have a moonless night. There is no moon out. And I am running a Princeton Tech illuminator right now. It is, um, it's on low. I don't know how many, um, I don't know how much light it's actually putting out, how many milliwatts or MW or whatever. But um, anyway, this is our same 37 SNR L3 filmless tube that we've been making videos with in the past. You can see we do have some stars out. We're under tree cover. And you can see the shadow cast by our Princeton Tech illuminator. And I'm trying to show you some limitations with using illumination under nods. Um, let me turn it off. Let me turn it off real quick. Our illuminator is off. We're panning the same area we were panning. See that tree there? It looks familiar. Whew. Hey, boy. Hmm. What's that? Oh, looky there. Let me turn the illuminator back on. This chin strap really messes with your ability to whistle. Turn it back off. Turn it back on. Let's turn it back off. Oh, we're still on. Hey boy. Ooh, chin straps are killer. See him wagging his tail. And the illuminator back on. Turn it back off. Huge shout out to my dog for helping me make this video. He's undercover. He's about 15 feet into the wood line. You see we're under pretty heavy tree cover for this time of year. Got some stars out though. No moon. With the illuminator off, you can see him wagging his tail, chilling. With the illuminator on, there wasn't a whole lot to see. And that's the point I'm trying to make. Yes, you absolutely can run an illuminator. And you absolutely will be able to see more from a lesser quality tube with that illuminator. But I wanted to prove the point that we can create our own photonic barriers, uh, especially with IR illuminators 
under nods. I mean, cause splashback off foliage. We're in the fall. Most of the leaves are off, but uh, you, you can clearly see what I'm talking about. Sometimes that illuminator can really hamper your ability to detect or see some things in some environments. So I always encourage people to get um, the highest spec in image intensifier tubes that they can afford. Um, if it's the choice between a photonus or nothing, absolutely go with the photonus. And let's just say you live in a very urban environment. Maybe the photonus is better because it's going to handle highlight conditions better than an L3 filmless tube. So you really need to match your usage to what you purchase. And I just wanted to demonstrate that for you. I hope you'll have a good night. Be safe.